This is a currently untitled game, simply with the title Top Down Shooter at the moment. Um, and this is a temporary menu as you can see there. Let's have the music off because it's quite noisy. Let's start with the tutorial. Yes. Use your left mouse button to shoot. Break a path through these boxes. Click to continue. So yeah, let's start off with the HUD thingy. If you hold shift, you can see your current amount of credits that go to make it disappear. Got zero at the moment, that's no good. But let's break a box. Yum! Five credits for each box. Also up here we've got our current health, 100%, good. Speed, level 1. Defense, level 1. Uh, we have gun level 1 at the moment, and we haven't got any specials. We'll get to those later. Gun level 1. It's a basic laser. Turn it down a bit. Obviously the weakest of the lot. But it gets the job done. These tiles slow your movement speed while on them. Oh no. Yes, about half the speed I guess. Spikes drain your HP while you stand on top of them. Uh, also, while I think of it, I'm not sure what this character is supposed to be. I guess it's sort of a temporary character, but I don't know what it is. Some kind of weird futuristic robotic thing, because it was originally going to be some kind of person, like futuristic androidy person or something, but yeah, I didn't want to put the effort into drawing it. Uh, yes, as you can see that drains your health quite fast. Items will restore HP, add specials, increase gun level, and more! Exclamation point. So these are specials. We'll get to those soon. That's health. Looks like it restores 20%. Another special there. Let's move on. Use your right mouse button to fire a special, then lead it with your crosshair. So yeah, the special always goes towards your crosshair. So be careful and don't lead it into any walls. Whee! If it comes into contact with your crosshair, it'll explode as well. But if you lead it into something, it will explode as well. Uh, many walls will contain secrets. Check for fake walls or breakable walls. Well, there's nothing obvious here. These barrels explode, but require an explosion to do so. Be careful, explosions damage you. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're almost dead now. Oops. Break those. Oh, we found a fake wall. Let's explore the darkness. Is that it? No. Special, special, and a weapon level. Now it's a fat laser. Thud. Does more damage, of course. And it's got a bigger hitbox. Oh dear, this is quite hazardous. Ah, that was worth it though. Another weapon level. This is my favourite. My personal favourite. It's just nice and neat and it leaves a smoky dust trail or something. A weird blue trail of smoke. It's pretty, that's why. That's why I like it. City boxes. Turrets will fire at you if you get within their view. To destroy them, lead a special to their power box. Now nah, we can get past them. Ah! Nope, maybe we can't. Take this. Oh! Explosive. That's a strange looking wall. Why? Get out of the way. Ah, good. Hidden stuff. Another one over there. Switches will open doors that match the colours of the switch. They can be touched or shot with a special or to be activated. Obviously you don't want to waste your specials on them, so just touch them when you can. Yes, break those boxes for me. Hmm. 
Hmm. Need to open the red door now. The switch is all the way down there. What's this? There will be many threats. Some you will be unable to remove and must simply avoid. We can kill it. Nope, maybe we can't. Generic enemies, because this is a tutorial. Spike balls. Hi. Dodgy. There we go. Ah, a coin. It gives us a hundred credits. Always a nice bit of tasty cheese. While on ice, it, was, it is hard to stop your movement. Be careful. Oh yes, obligatory ice physics. Ah! You'll stop if you touch a wall. So, that'll give you a time to plan your route. Oh, nicked a spike there. And I'm not using it in the British slang term this time. There we go. Another breakable wall there. You can usually tell, I don't know if you can in the video because of the quality, but a breakable wall has got cracks all over it. And there we go. Stairs mark the end of a stage. You'll come across many things not seen in this tutorial. Good luck. Uh, we got all the secrets and all the items. If you collect all items and find all secrets, you will increase your score greatly, making you able to buy more stuff between stages. You can see our current credits there. Ah, delicious. Let's move on. You will come to the store after each stage. Your score builds up over stages and can be used in the store. Um, later stores will contain new items, some for a limited time only, so choose wisely. Click done to leave the store. Since this is a tutorial, your score will be cleared when you leave and your statistics will be returned to their default. Hmm. So we haven't got much at the moment, but... Let's sell a couple of weapon levels. Uh, we've got lots of credits now. We can buy an HP upgrade. Nice. And that's about it. For each level, you'll be given a password. If you quit the game, you can use this password from the main menu to come back to the store before the level. You will not keep all your credits from before you quit, but you will be given a certain amount to help you start off. Input password can be found in the information section of the main menu. Try it now by inputting the password TUT STORE, all in capital letters. It will bring you to this store. Click done to return. Okay, let's try that then. Input password. Caps lock. TUT STORE. Yes, here we are. We get 6,000 credits. Level Weapon level 2. We don't want that. So yeah. That's it for the tutorial. Now, let's check out a new game to see the first level. Uh, yes, we'll do normal difficulty. Okay, let's start this. I haven't played this for a while myself. We've got a blue door already, but no switch in sight. Oh! Ah, weapon level already. Nice. Big open room. Uh-oh! Enemies! There would be music right now, but I have it turned off for the sake of this. Ow. Black lasers. I think they're black anyway, they might be brown. I can't tell. The turrets watch you. One of these... Yes, drops a weapon upgrade, so that's good. Let's blow the other one up with a special health. See if we can catch him. Yes, I think we got him there. Obviously didn't kill him instantly, but it does a set amount of damage. So it probably helped. Whoa, he fired a barrage there. He's in a lot. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what that is there. Kill that. <laughs> Bit of a glitch, I guess. Still a work in progress. Uh, that's an unfinished room over here, so pay no heed to that. Chink. 500 credits, huh? Oh, not again. If we had a special, we might be able to time it and blow him up while he's next to these barrels. But, we don't have a special. I thought there was one hidden in there, but apparently there isn't. There we go. 
What are those? Ah! Mines that follow you. It's a bad sign. But they're like the specials, they follow you. And if you just lead them into a wall, Caesar, yow! Uh oh. Ambush! There would also be battle music here. Or some sort of battle music, anyway. So, basically, lead them into the walls. It's kind of a tight space to work with. So, you're probably likely to get hit once or twice. You can also, if I can get a good time to do it, yep, I think we're going to need. Ow. Maybe not. Let's try it now. Yes. Fight back. Oh. Oh. Awkward. Oh, not again. There we go. Just barely survived. Huh. Some stuff over there. And a hidden switch. It's a trap. There's another blue door. So you can't go that way. And there's the blue switch. Evil turret there. Get rid of him. Should have got rid of him before I crossed its view, but, you know, this is a preview. So we could go back to the blue door right back at the start. And that's actually all that's been made so far. This room will have a battle in it. So for the sake of this preview, I guess we'll go back to the start. Nice little credits. What's in here? A lot of money! Uh, that's 300 credits there. And that is all that's made of the first level so far. So. I'll show you something else as well. So, here we are back on the main menu. Let's try the playroom. Turn the music off again. What's the playroom? It's basically a room where you can play about with all of the stuff. We haven't got a gun, so... Grab that. There we go. So, here's dispensers. A special dispenser. You can also shoot them just because. Uh, here's a weapon level dispenser, so we can try out all the different weapons. Level 4. Yeah. That's one of my personal favourites. And level 5. Mow down the boxes. And you can also switch the boxes to exploding barrels quite satisfying. And those are bonuses because it detects me having destroyed all the boxes or the barrels. So don't worry about that. And we've got a store here. Oh my, that's a lot of stuff. And we can't quite afford the, um, the health upgrade yet. Now we can. Ah, there we go. We keep going in and out. Oh. So that we can get a bit of defense. Each level of defense, currently anyway, and makes you take one less point of damage. From some things anyway. So let's just go ahead and pretty much blow ourselves up. Ow! You can't die in the playroom, obviously. But, that's that. So... That resets everything. So, let's do this again. And kill ourselves. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that, I'm not sure if the video just skipped or something. There's an interruption. Anyway, back on the main menu, let's do the tutorial and just kill ourselves to end the video. There's some spikes to do the job for me. 
Now let's speed up the process a bit. Barrels! Spikes, finish me off. Oh dear. So yeah, this is um top-down shooter. Temporary title. And... Oh, it looks like we keep our credits. So I guess I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this preview. There's hopefully more to come of all different games in, in the Pops Vault. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and see you next time.